was arrested in a Woodlands uh, checkpoint inside the Singapore with his ninja bike. La. So the policeman already waiting there with the Alsatian and all. At first, we were so broke down. Uh, it was very unexpected. But my sister Shankari, she put a lot of effort to explain what have happened to my family. She take the biggest decision in her life to not give up on Paneer. Saya uh, adik kepada Panir Selwem, uh, adik bongsu kepada Panir Selwem. Keluarga saya ada, saya ada enam orang adik-beradik, uh, termasuk ibu bapa lapan orang. Terus saya ada empat abang dan satu kakak. Uh, so kami semua berasal dari Ipoh Perak. Bagi saya memang memang travelling itu penat lah. Sebab uh, kita bertolak uh, dari malam. Tengah malam tu kita travel, lepas tu sampai kat Singapore tengah uh, uh, early morning. We took the 11:30 bus. We have to clear the custom, dual custom, Singapore and also Johor, and then the travelling itself. We are used to travelling actually, because uh, we are doing it frequently, uh, but still um, a bit tired lah. Bagi saya macam uh, apa hati saya dengan minda saya memang berat lah selalu kami minda perjalanan tu macam memang heavy lah untuk saya memang penat uh, bagi kakak pun memang macam tu lah uh, dulu sampai kaki kaki bengkak pun ada dulu. Sejak kecil lagi, saya rapat juga dengan uh, abang-abang saya, termasuk Panir. Apa yang saya boleh ingat tentang Panir adalah dia seorang yang suka membantu, membantu orang lain. Dia nampak tegas tapi dia seorang yang sangat perahmah. Dari sejak kecil lagi, dia memang uh, ada bakat dalam bidang uh, muzik dan uh, seni. Saya memang uh, admire the way dia main muzik instrumen itu. Uh, tak lah pula pernah beritahu dia yang saya suka tengok dia main uh, music instrument. Uh, itu semua lepas uh, lepas sekarang lah saya beritahu. Hmm. Legal Advocacy Group Lawyers for Liberty has questioned Singapore's refusal to issue a certificate of substantive assistance that would spare Malaysian P. Pioneer Selvam from the gallows in the island nation. Pioneer has assisted. He was duped by a certain uh, drug kingpins who were based in Malaysia at that time. We have their names, we have their details, and all this information, Panir and his family also have given to the Singapore authorities. So we were very surprised from the very beginning why the Singapore Attorney General Chambers did not issue that certificate. That certificate would make the difference between life and death for Panir. Bila apa orang yang ditangkap tu memberi bantuan. Uh, mereka layak untuk uh, mendapat Certificate of Substantive Assistance di, di Singapura. Uh, Certificate ini akan mengurangkan hukuman gantung mereka daripada digantung sampai mati ke uh, hukuman penjara, uh, penjara seumur hidup. DPP tidak uh, memberikan sertifikat kepada Panir sebab mereka uh, menerangkan yang maklumat yang diberi oleh Panir, mereka tidak menggunakan maklumat itu walaupun mereka menangkap orang yang sama tapi maklumat tu mereka tidak menggunakan maklumat yang Panir diberi. Drug recruiter ni dia beroperasi di di Johor 
macam dah dah lebih macam dah lebih 10 tahun. Uh, lepas tu uh, kerja mereka adalah untuk uh, memancing uh, apa memancing apa uh, youngsters ni lah. Dia orang punya target-target semua kan macam macam dari pemuda daripada uh, pendala, uh, pendalaman uh, macam kampung macam tu. So dia ada cara sendiri mereka beroperasi dekat Malaysia. Uh, lepas tu ada lah mereka ada ada beberapa location untuk uh, beroperasi macam dekat Penang, uh, dekat JB. Uh, uh, so saya saya rasa ini adalah strategi dia orang. He has been tricked to do this, not he never do this in a purpose. So he has been tricked to do this. So. Yeah, this is his first offence. So that's why I'm saying he like to help people out, even though it's strangers. So uh, and he got trapped here. So uh, I would like to uh, ask everybody to uh, sign the online petition and save our brother Panit from this execution, because uh, we want to save our brother. He's very contradicting with his offence. Because we grow up in a very disciplined uh, community, we grow up together with the church community. So I would like to ask everyone to uh, help us sign the petition to save our brother. Siapa yang kita cuba nak deter? Kerana realiti uh, kes hukuman gantung ini, saya selalu ajukanlah kepada pegubal undang-undang uh, apabila mereka menyokong uh, hukuman gantung bagi kes edaran dadah. Siapa tokan-tokan dadah yang pernah dikenakan hukuman gantung? Bandingkan dengan jumlah pengedar kecil ya, ya yang majoritinya datang daripada golongan wanita, miskin, ya, yang kadang-kadang ada masalah mental, Uh, tetapi akhirnya mereka lah yang kecil-kecil ni lah yang akan kena hukuman gantung kerana mereka tidak ada akses kepada peguam yang baik uh, selalu disisihkan, dipinggirkan tetapi tukar-tukar dadah ni jarang sekali uh, akan ditangkap so realitinya saya rasa dari segi deterrence tu dia tidak ditujukan kepada kumpulan pengedar terbesar ini kedua um, saya rasa apabila kita lihat daripada sudut deterrence ia bukan sekadar hukuman gantung semata-mata Deterrence ada juga. Saya di sini bukan nak pertahankan pengedar kecil. Kamu miskin, kamu minoriti, tetapi kalau kamu merupakan pengedar, ya, khususnya bagi hard drugs ya, yang binasakan uh, badan dan masa depan ramai anak muda, kamu perlu dihukum. Tetapi hukuman itu biasa timpal. Ya, hukuman penjara dan yang lain. Um, dan itu saya rasa it must be adequate punishment. Jangan semua kita cepat gunakan hukuman gantung. Sebaran Kasih adalah satu NGO yang working with the marginalized people, especially those on date row, uh, advocating for human right. So Sebaran Kasih telah diasaskan oleh Panir Silva. Saya membantu dia untuk uh, pergi register sebab saya dekat luar, uh, Panir Silva dekat dalam penjara. So ini seluruhnya Sebaran Kasih adalah idea dia. Ada NGO sendiri untuk mengadvokatkan isu-isu yang sedia membantu lah. A very good evening to everyone. A very good evening to Mr. Davi, Dato DJ Dave. Today, along with Pintu Besi, we are going to uh, launch Kitchen for Hope. Panir has always wanted Sebaran Kasih to generate its own income so that um, it would have enough. we would have enough fund to help the families of Deidre inmates uh, cater the NGO's administration and operation need. By doing this project, we hope that we can generate some income, uh, not only give moral support to the affected families, but also give some financial support to this family. So, Sebaran Kasih, kami baru register November 2020 dah dua tahun lebih. So nilai kita tiga je. Uh, forgiveness, mercy and love. Spread the love. So and dan juga peluang kedua lah. Uh, kami ada beberapa nilai. Uh, yang peluang kedua adalah salah satu nilai juga lah yang Sibran si kasih percaya sangat uh, yang bahawa manusia uh, kena diberi peluang kedua dalam hidupan. Sibran si kasih is proud to present Panir Selvam's third song titled Pintu Besi. We are excited about this single and we believe that this song will reach and touch the hearts and minds of millions around the world. Our main aim of producing this song written by Panir Silvam is to create awareness on the plight of Deidro inmates through music campaigns. 
Pani ada banyak tulis lirik dan poem dia. Lepas tu uh, dia pun nak juga uh, mendengar. Sebenarnya lagu ni uh, kita mula untuk create awareness uh, through music untuk memberitahu uh, orang ramai tentang kuman mati dan juga uh, bagaimana banduan akhir tengah siksa di dalam uh, sebab kami kami um, uh, we felt that it's always uh, uh, it's always music is a always good platform uh, to use to create awareness Terkurang kesorangan Di sebalik pintu besi Terkurang kesorangan Di sebalik pintu besi Tiada bulan, tiada bintang Di sebalik pintu besi Di sebalik pintu besi Di sebalik pintu besi Memang diorang uh, uh, Desperately need second chance You no, know, they have missed their family. You know, melalui lagu ni kita juga dapat uh, memberitahu um, uh, kepada uh, public yang mereka juga ada bakat, mereka juga ada keluarga, uh, orang yang uh, menyayangi mereka. Uh, so, so si berangkasi uh, adalah uh, tentang kemahafan penya, uh, menyayangkan, lepas tu uh, uh, memberi peluang kedua. Visit with Panir uh, was good. When enter je, we greet each other with smiling face. And then the first thing I will normally do is to ask if uh, how is he, dah makan ke, apa dia makan macam tu. Uh, talk about my son uh, because Panir uh, miss Lucas and he nowadays every visit he keep on asking Lucas when Lucas is coming. So uh, I have to tell him that Lucas is not here in KL, back in Ipoh with my mother. All this, actually this one hour is not enough. Everything like, a, you know, the time really run, runs fast, you know. Saya punya turn akan uh, yang terakhir lah untuk cakap dengan dia. Sebab bila saya start cakap dengan dia, um, masa akan habis dengan sangat cepat. Dan uh, bila saya uh, explain, kami explain pasal uh, uh, event tu, dia gembira. Lepas tu, um, dia nak, uh, nak sangat dengar lagu tu uh, uh, play dekat radio so uh, dia keep asking um, whether Sibaran Kasi have made a preparation to uh, get the song uh, on air uh, in maybe for a TV interview so dia excited, excited juga one last thing that he always um, say this is a bit funny lah ya yeah? uh, he will say that uh, that he will mention in Tamil so I don't um, I don't know how to convert it in uh, English or Malay he will say that Tell, tell that I will return. <laughs> he will say this in Tamil. He say that tell, tell that I will return. So it's a dialogue, like yeah, it's a dialogue. It's a, it's a dialogue from Tamil movie. So le, na terumbi wandi dan so le. So pani dia uh, selalu bagi surat uh, kepada kami dia asing. Uh, he will he will write to whom he is uh, referring the letter to. Quite frequent also lah, Panir send letter. Macam, almost like, uh, I rasa every month ada kot. I was very happy to meet you on visit. And I must say this, at visit I wanted to share a lot of things. But sometimes the time, short time which had been given to me, I can't find the right word to say. I'm very proud of you. Why? for all the effort you have taken to build your life and career, to find something you like to do and follow your heart. For me, it's like a freedom. Yes, a freedom. Kurang seorang on di sebalik pintu besi. 
Tiara bulan, tiara bintang Di sebalik pintu besi mm. Di sebalik pintu besi Di sebalik pintu besi